So, today we're going to be comparing Arrow, Wang versus No Wang. So, right now we have No Wang on this, well, I guess it's old now, but this 2016 Dodge Viper ACR. Personally, this is one of my favorite, favorite cars in this game right now. And uh, we're going to take it out for a little test drive. It is, it was X-Class with the wing. But the first test we're going to perform, of course, is going to the uh, strip. If I can make it there. Rocking about 1500 horsepower. You know, got that uh, Lambo V12 in here. I was in fourth gear. I'm going to do top speeds right now. Okay. Well, starting from first gear. I don't even know where to start the rev limiter at. Maybe about. Nope, not right there. I could just. As you can see, without trash control, these things are very dangerous. I'm not even on the ground anymore. Straight. Straight. There you go. This thing seems pretty fast. That was a guy who was on the stream a few days ago. This thing is pretty... It books it. Only thing it needs, really, is the wing. So this time, let's try a little roll. I'm going to start from second. This thing is a little dangerous. A little squirrely. Really, this squirrely. Goodness. I still got a gear left, too. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so, um, that didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Alright, into the tuning. Let's see, let's uh, tune the arrow for straight speed and see what we got. So my top speed is 234 right now. I gained about 8, yeah, <laughs> almost 8, 7 miles an hour, but almost 8 miles, that's, that's crazy. Start from fourth gear. <laughs> That's how bad the traction is. And it gets up there though from fourth gear. Okay, so we got to beat about 232. We get to 230. Actually. This thing actually gets up there. Oddly enough. So, so far, putting the aerodynamics to speed, both of them to speed, it kind of does help a little bit. It gave us about just a few more miles an hour. You guys can see why I started from fourth gear. <laughs> Just realized I've been chewing this whole time. So about 235-236 on the flat. Which isn't too bad. But there is something else I want to test. But I'm going to tune in here anyways. But the whole thing with aerodynamics is this thing has a lot of aerodynamics. That means the more downforce you put in the front and the rear of the car, which usually means you're angling the wind to push your car all the way down to the floor. The more downforce you push over the wheels, the better at cornering and turning it will be. But as you can see, 
the more downforce you have sometimes means you have less, you know, you're not as planted and you lose speed. Because you're pushing all that force down on you instead of past you in the slipstream, it makes your car a little bit slower. Not like drastically slower, but a little bit slower. Because you're forcing the, uh, all of it to the wheels so you don't lose grip when you're turning and cornering. See, this thing is turning very good for a car that's going 160 miles an hour. I take that back. We're almost going. Well, we are going to now. But I'm going to put it in fifth gear and show you the car. Now, at these speeds, a normal car would just fly off or from inertia and just pull it wherever it wants to go. You're about to see. It can take corners like a champ now. But the game is rich. Lag like it just did. Sorry, took a game with me. Now the best place to test to see if your car has good aerodynamics in the speed race is through this forest right here. The turns are just sweeping enough that they're not going to like challenge you to brake too much, but practice throttle control. You can go above 180 in the forest. Your car is pretty much set to break some records. Without tuning, because this car hasn't been tuned yet, except for the air tunes. But another good car that's been really fast through here is the Centrino. Hope I said that right. Pay attention. The Centrino. So that's another good car to try to come through here. If you have enough money to get it, but. I've been telling you, this Viper and the Horizon Edition Viper, extremely good cars when it comes to this kind of race. They may lack the top speed of like a uh, Forza Horizon GT, but they're very good at corner. As you can see, this thing is just sweeping those turns. Even this turn. This turn claims every other car I drive. Speaking of Horizon Edition Viper, the Forza Horizon ACR, I mean, yeah, Forza Horizon G uh, Viper or the Ford GT Viper are the best cars to make the money with it. But this for sure is one of the best handling cars I've driven in this game. But not too many turn, not too many cars can even make that turn. That turn is hard and not speed. Really. And I have a little simulation right now. The turning. This thing is just planted. It's not moving at all. Okay, that I had to do. But I'm going to avoid the three if possible, except for that one. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to do a full in depth tutorial on how to tune the cars in this game. I'll try to be as informational, but keep it as, as dumbed down as possible for those of you who are the younger audience who don't understand the big words, which is aerodynamic and foot pounds and all that stuff but I'll explain as a technician as much as I can about tuning the car in this game. If you really want to learn how to tune, I suggest you look well I was gonna say look into a book but I'll definitely give you guys some points. Anyway, just want to let you guys have a wonderful day. Hope it's helping in some way. And uh they also Peace.